Welcome back to another semester of CTV Sports. My name is Zoe Weir and I am absolutely thrilled to dive into another year of CSU Athletics. As many things as we could talk about right now, we have to dive into the crazy matchup this Saturday down in the Lone Star State and what the Rams are bringing with them. First things first, the CSU Rams have had a busy month preparing for the season. With the team making their daily deposits and the new additions to the squad, there seems to be a promising future ahead. And Coach Norvell is definitely on the same page. Coach speaks on the new ways of fall camp and heading into the season opener. Like every team in America, we're really uh, looking forward to starting our season this week. Uh, we've had a good camp, uh, done a lot of things differently than we've done uh, in our preparation. And I'm really anxious to see how that correlates to our play on the field. We've got a lot of experienced players back. Um, we have a lot of newcomers that we've injected into this roster that we've worked hard with this, this last month in training camp. And I'm just really pleased with where we're at right now. Um, but I'm anxious to get going and looking forward to this first opportunity. Now that we know where Coach Novell is at as we start the season, let's take a look at CSU's key players who are expected to make an impact down in Cowboy Country. Starting with the Rams' starting QB, Braden Fowler Nicolosi. Fowler Nicolosi is heading into his second season being the starter for the Green and Gold. Last season, he threw for 3,460 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. Now, don't let these numbers set the stage. After having a year under his belt and going to play his first game of the season in his home state, Father Nicolosi is expected to have a great year. Moving on to his key targets this year. Torrey Horton and Dylan Goffney seem to be the duo that's going to be celebrating in the end zone together. Horton returns for his final year at CSU and is looking to show up and show out once again. Last season, Horton recorded 96 receptions, 1,136 yards, and a whopping 8 touchdowns. The Rams will be using this powerhouse all season long. A more recent face to the Rams this season is senior Dylan Goffney. Goffney will also be heading back to his roots down in Texas. And although he was only able to record 23 receptions, 298 yards, and two touchdowns last season, it is evident we will start seeing a lot more of number five. CSU has many more offensive threats heading down south with them. But for now, let's move on to defense. That dynamic duo is back again. Senior captains Henry Blackburn and Jack Howell are looking to stop, stop the Longhorns and bring the leadership. Blackburn recorded 40 solo tackles last season with three interceptions, while Howell was able to get an astonishing 50 solo tackles with one interception. This duet is setting high expectations this year, and it all starts in just two days for these seniors. And lastly, but certainly not least, if we're talking about defense, we can't skip out and chase Wilson and Boom Jock. Wilson joins Blackburn and Howell as a captain this season. In fact, the Rams have four of the six team captains as defensive players. And if that doesn't speak on the leadership and power on the security of the Rams, I don't know what does. Linebacker Chase Wilson put up 44 solo tackles with four sacks last season. And now that the Rams no longer have Mo Kamara to stop the signal caller, it looks like Wilson is going to have to fill those shoes. Wilson's right-hand man this season is only a true sophomore, Boom Jock. Jack had 14 solo tackles as a freshman, and now the Green and Gold are looking to use this linebacker as a key player this season. All right, now that we know a little bit about what the Rams will be using against the Longhorns, we have to mention. CSU definitely has it in for them. I mean, Texas is coming in as the number four team in the country. They were one game short of being in the national championship game just last season. And plus, everything is bigger in Texas. And well, that is all I have for you guys tonight. Have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you guys next Thursday as we dive into CSU's first home game against our neighbor, Northern Colorado. And stick around. After the break, our investigative reporters will catch us up on all the recent wildfires.